Our skin is the largest organ. It covers our entire body, acting as an armor to keep germs out and keep our body temperature in check so we don't overheat or get too cold. When our skin is damaged by serious burns, surgeons need to apply skin grafts to restore functioning so our skin can continue to protect us. Doctors Jeffrey Karp and Bodan Pomahawk are developing an adhesive made up of tiny shape-changing needles. They hope that their micro fasteners will be the next generation of surgical adhesives to provide rapid wound care while minimizing tissue damage and scarring. We are using sutures and staples that have been around probably as long as surgery uh, discipline itself. Um, and although fundamentally those are incredibly useful tools, uh, they have their limitations. What I'm hoping is that we would be able to develop a tool that would secure and provide adequate attachments of different type of tissues together. Uh, should we be successful, which I truly believe we would be, uh, it would eliminate pooling of uh, fluid in between the interface of the graft and wound bed. It could eliminate infections. It could eliminate me mechanical forces and shear. All of those are factors that cause failure of our surgical procedures. What we envisioned is having an array of microneedles that we could place through the skin graft into the underlying tissue and we could achieve intimate contact that would prevent the accumulation of fluid and thus maximize the chance that the, the graft would um, take and we wouldn't need to go back and do another procedure. I could envision that uh, patients that are currently staying in hospital for five, seven days uh, using this device could simply go home the same day after the operation. So because the, the tips of these needles can swell when we place them into uh, uh, water, what we also found is that we can very easily load uh, these microneedles with potentially any type of medicine. Um, and all we need to do is have a solution with the medicine um, inside and we place the microneedles into that solution the tips will then swell and the medicine will go into the microneedles. We can take them out and they'll dry and then we can place it back into tissue, into a wet environment, and slowly that medicine can be released. And we showed that this could be used for a wide variety of different types of uh, medical agents, um, anything from small molecules to even active biological agents uh, such as proteins or peptides. We'd be incredibly fortunate and very excited to, to win this prize and I think you know, our priority is to rapidly accelerate in relevant model systems so that we can bring this innovation to patients in as short a time as possible.